In this series, we are discussing about the best practices we can follow while writing a code in RPA UiPath. And today I am going to talk about the documentation. We are going to speak that what are the best practices we can follow when we are documenting our code in robotics process automation project. First of all, it is important to understand what exactly is documentation and why do we need it, right? So documentation is an important aspect in any of the software development, including the RPA, right? It simply refers to creating a document where you document everything, you put some screenshot images. The idea is to have a single place where I want to know everything about the product. I can simply refer to that documentation. This document can be used by the other developers to understand your code. It can be used to troubleshoot the issues. It can be used whenever you have some enhancements or some modifications which are coming that where to fix what, right? So this is why documentation is important. When we talk about the best practices, the first one is that you should use clear and concise language. Whenever I'm writing something, it should be in a uh, simple words. Avoid using the technical jargons, avoid using the hard words, tough words, or the things which, which the others cannot understand. The idea is to make it simple so that anybody who is reading the document understand that what you wanted to convey, right? So use clear and concise language. The next thing is includes comments in your code. This is also a part of your documentation. Whenever we are writing code in UiPath, we create a lot of workflow, we create a lot of variables, we write a big logic, right? But I am writing the logic, so I understand what I am doing. But if some other developer has to revisit the code or if somebody else has to revisit the code for troubleshooting, how would they know, right? So it is a best practice to include comments in your code. It can be at the top of your workflow. It can be in a form of annotation. But the idea is you should have comments that should explain what your code is doing, why it was needed and how does the code works. The next is use diagram and flowchart, right? Whenever we are explaining a process, it is better to put it in some illustration, in some diagrams, in some flowchart. The visual actually helps the developer to understand the flow and then get more insights. Along with writing all the details, it would be good if we can simply put some diagrams and some flowcharts. The next thing is create a user manual. Once your automation has been completed, you have developed it, deployed it completely. If somebody has to use that automation, if somebody has to use their product, how would they know that what is required? That is where you have to create something which is called manual. It will require details such as how do you install it? How do you configure it? What are the software required? What are the different versions required? What do I do? in case there is some exception, what should I do in case I am getting this error, right? So create a user manual. It would be mostly for the end user, right? When I say end user, it is your business, right? So for example, what is the business supposed to do when it gets a business exception? How would they know, right? Whether they have to raise a support ticket, whether they have to reach to the developer, whether they have to go to orchestrator or anything, right? So you have to create a user manual where you explain about the RPA solution. The last and the important, it is not a one-time job. Once you have created the documentation, it is our responsibility to update the document with the latest and the relevant information, right? It's not a one-time job. Whenever there is some enhancement which is happening, whenever there are some modifications, some changes, all of that has to be documented accordingly. Not only this, let's say when we are running the process during the hypercare, when we are running the process with the business, anytime there are some business exception occurring, which are unexpected and what you did to solve them or what the business did to solve them, all of that has to be documented. So the simple idea of having a documentation is that whenever I get some issues, some errors, some exception, and I want to know how does the product work, what is the code, how to mitigate it, I should get all these details, right? Not only this, if the developers are moved to some different project, then when the new developers are onboarded, you would always require something to give them to read so that they can understand. That is where your documentation will helpful, right? So the best practice for today was that please create the documentation for your project. 
The complete playlist for the best practices we can follow as a developer in UiPath is available in the link or in the bio, right? Thank you for watching and happy automation. Thank you.